Hello! In today's video, we will be going over how to import DWGs into SOLIDWORKS as a drawing. My name is Ben Potter, I'm an Applications Engineer here at Go Engineer, and let's begin! The first thing is going to be to drag and drop the DWG file into SOLIDWORKS. This will open the DXF DWG import window. Here we have a few options. We can import and create a SOLIDWORKS drawing, either by converting the DWG elements into SOLIDWORKS entities, or by embedding the sheet into native DXF format, which will result in the DXF DWG being laid over the drawing with minimal control. You can also import to a new part either as a 2D sketch or as a 3D curve slash model. And last, you can import just the MDT data. We'll be looking at converting the DWG into SOLIDWORKS entities. An important note within this window is to not press escape or enter, as they will immediately close the window with enter also running the default options for import. Hitting next, we move to the drawing layer mapping. Here we can decide which layers to import. We also get a preview of the DWG and can see all the elements within. Also on this window, we see if the DWG has multiple sheets and can decide if we want to include them. Once we are satisfied with our layer and sheet selection, we will press next. Now we move to the document settings. Here we set the options for the SOLIDWORKS drawing during the importing operation. The input file properties area allows us to set the unit for the incoming data. Here I'll change them to inches. Next we have the output file properties. Here the output paper size and drawing template can be selected. I'll change the paper size to 8.5 by 11 or size A and leave the template as default. The drawing sheet scale is not scaling the model, it is scaling the output sheet to the input data. This can be trial and error as you discover the correct scaling necessary to fit the section of the DWG that you need. You will notice a red box. That is the output drawing boundaries. As you get closer to a good scaling factor, you can use the geometry positioning options to move the DWG into the red box as you want. Move entities onto the sheet allows you to drag and drop the DWG preview into the red box. Center in sheet centers the preview onto the red box and position allows you to change the X and Y coordinates in relation to the red box. Once you are close to the right size, click finish. Depending on the complexity of the DWG, you may get a warning about the amount of block data that SOLIDWORKS is importing. Select yes to continue. You may also get a warning message about the pylon entity. It is best to ignore them and select yes, as the pylon operation can be very time consuming. After these messages, the importing operation will begin. Once complete, a report window will appear. Here we see that points were out of the modeling limit. This is due to the fact that we were only placing one section of the DOWG into the drawing space. Entities could not be imported. This is typically caused by having multiple sheets within the DWG that we did not set up importing options for. And finally, a note stating that the dimensions imported were not correct based on the actual line length. This is generally because DWGs do not have to be dimensioned based on actual line length. The line could be 20 inches, but dimensioned to be 2 inches. SOLIDWORKS will bring in the 2 inch dimension, but wants to notify you about the discrepancy. Close the report and the drawing will open. All of the DWG elements will be brought in, so first delete the sections that are not within the sheet boundaries. This may take a bit of time depending on the complexity of the other sections. Once the deleting operations are done, we can focus on the section we want. If the view does not quite fit within the sheet, we can use the Move Entities operation to move the entire view. The Move Entities command can be found using the Search Command functionality in the upper right of SOLIDWORKS window. Make sure the Commands option is selected. If you will be doing this repeatedly, it is best practice to drag the Move Entities command onto the toolbar. Within the command, it is easiest to use the from slash to option, selecting one of the corners and then dragging to a sheet corner. For this drawing, I will leave it as is. Now to clean it up, I will delete the DWG bounding lines. Satisfied with the sheet, I will save it out as a SOLIDWORKS drawing and use the DWG's name for this file, giving it a dash one as I will want to repeat this process for the other sections of the DWG. Now I will save this out as a PDF. To have the PDF not show the color and be in grayscale, during the saving operation, select PDF as file type, then click Options. Within the PDF output options, make sure the Export PDF in color is unchecked. 
You may receive a warning if certain fonts are not installed on your computer. Click OK and then check the PDF for any missing fonts. If no font is missing, then you are good to go. If font is missing, either locate and install the font from Microsoft or within SolidWorks, change the font of the text. Lastly, if you want to change the line or text color, turn on the line format toolbar and access the layer properties window. Here, assign the color to each layer that was imported from the DWG. If this does not change the line color or text color, then they were not controlled by a layer. And simply selecting them and going to the line color window, also within the line format toolbar, and set them to the desired color. Note that this may take some time to do depending on how many individual lines or text were imported from the DWG. Thanks for checking out this video today. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more great SOLIDWORKS videos. As always, keep on modeling.